hit the scene around 1992 called Live. And they had a hit song called Lightning Crashes, and I was in love with it. I loved everything about them. I loved their style, I loved their lyrics, I loved the lead singer, I loved his passion, I loved his shaved head, I loved how he moved. I would just go see my husband's band and I would go see my friend's bands, but I wasn't a big concert person until live came along. In fact, my husband actually has been the one in the last two decades who has always surprised me with tickets to go see them. And every now and then I'd manage to go backstage or wait in the alleyway and just get to see him. And I found myself a week ago out of town and I see a sign that he was playing an acoustic gig. Now, I wasn't able to go that night because I had something else I was doing, but I just thought this is too crazy on my whole countdown. Is there any way I can incorporate Ed into this? I've got to get Ed into this. So I know about something called Soundcheck, being married to a rock star. Earlier that day, I just hung around the loading dock, talked to the security guys. I went and bought them a gelato, and when I came back, they said, hey, we knocked on his trailer door, and then this happened. All right, so I'm doing my countdown to turning 50, and this is the most best part of my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Denise. Okay, so you know who this is right next to me, guys? This is my absolute favorite musician in the whole world, Ed Kowalczyk, next to my husband, Michael Duff. Ah, of and course. Ed is here, and he said to me, what did you just say? Say it again, I'm sorry. I don't remember. You said happy birthday. Well, of course I said happy birthday. I thought he meant something else. So Do she I doesn't look 50, does she? No. So I said that. Did I say that? That's well, no, right. I did. You didn't say that, but that's <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you. Uh, did you see me? I, I was so nervous, but I did it. I did it. God, I should always be this brave.